Chapter 42, There Are No Trees in the Heart to Cut Down Once, when the Buddha lived in a forest somewhere in the kingdom of Josara, a Brahmin was supervising the workers to cut down trees, and he saw the Buddha meditating under a big tree, so he thought to himself, I supervise the workers in this forest to cut down trees, I take pleasure in supervising the workers cutting down trees, and this meditative monk, what does he take pleasure in? After thinking about it, the Brahmin walked up to the Buddha and said to the Buddha, Monk, what do you come to this forest for? Do you also have a job? What do you do when you sit here alone? At this time, the Brahmin said, Bhikkhu is here, the forest of Sarah trees. For what is the only thing, the forest? Chu Tan's pleasure. The Buddha said, if you are alone in this forest, there is nothing that should be done, just as the roots of all the trees, flowers and plants in the forest have been cut off, the trees, flowers and plants in the heart have all withered and disappeared, if there are no trees, flowers, plants and forests in the mind, there is no need to worry about and cling to their existence, and of course you will no longer be stabbed by the thorns and thorns of trouble and pain in the forest. For example, there is no thought arising in the heart, nor any desire arising in the heart, nor any thoughts of joy, anger, sorrow, etc. in the heart. Since there are no thoughts in Rolai's heart, she will not be bound and bound by all troubles and pains, and will be freed from all troubles and pains. At this time, the Buddha said, I am alone in the forest, doing what I do. Everything is broken by me. But I am in the forest, and I have no troubles. There is no thorn, no joy, or sorrow. After the Buddha spoke, the Brahmin immediately knelt on the ground and saluted the Buddha, and he said to the Buddha, Dade, what you said is so good, happiness is also trouble, I am now here to supervise the workers to cut down trees, and my heart is very happy, if the trees and flowers here all wither and disappear, when we have no trees to cut down, we will be miserable, because we will no longer be able to cut down trees for a living, we can no longer sell wood, we can no longer get money, and our lives will fall into poverty. So my joy of supervising workers cutting down trees is temporary, and I can't let this happiness last forever, when this forest does not exist, when these trees all wither and disappear where we cut them down, and our lives are poor, we will fall into pain, that is, how happy I was to supervise the workers to cut down trees before, then when this forest does not exist and I can no longer supervise the workers to cut down trees, how much pain will I have? So-called happiness also ends up turning into pain, and Dade, you have nothing to do. Since you do not do anything, you will not be happy about things, you will not suffer because of things, there will be no feelings of happiness and pain, and so on, there will be no troubles and pains, and you will be freed from these worldly things. Dade, please let me take refuge in you, I am willing to be your disciple at home, I am willing to take your precepts, I am willing to practice according to your dharma. The Buddha accepted this Brahman's refuge.